Hi everyone, I am Eljo Vincent N. Oribiana, also known as Eljo, and I am an alumni of Kisai, currently studying in Ateneo de Manila University and playing for the Ateneo men's football team. I have also been the team captain of the Quezon City Science High School football team for a span of three years, which is actually the longest tenure in Kisai as a team captain in football. I am the original founder of the Kisai Minecraft server, which I actually started all the way back in 2019. I am joined here today by Spike Bangilan. Take it away, Spike. Hello everyone, I am Kent Justin D. Bangilan, also known as Spike from 12 Kiri. I have been an internationally competing wrestler and an active MMA fighter since 2017. I have also acquired medals while representing the country at international competitions. Currently, I am both an international private tutor for American Honor students and a memory enhancement and accelerated learning speaker. I have six years of professional Minecraft build team experience from renowned Minecraft servers and build teams such as Hypixel, Gria Network, Wincraft, and many others. I am also one of the builders of Quezon City Science High School's very own Minecraft server along with my big boss, El Cho. Without further ado, um, let's check the build. Before we begin with our virtual tour, I would like to extend my most fervent appreciation to our dedicated Minecraft builders and moderators. All credits will be given to all the builders as without their hard work and dedication, we would have not have been able to showcase our beloved campus virtually to you. Without further ado, let's begin with our virtual tour. Wahoo! Let's go! Let's go! La 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 la! Here on these iconic blue steps, we have the builders who greatly contributed to the development of our beloved server. These builders dedicated sleepless nights for us to glean vicarious satisfaction from the sight of these memorable places. We would not have made this virtual tour possible without the help of all the builders who took their time to create this recreation of our beloved alma mater. The first building that will be featured in this virtual tour is the legendary Mafai 2. Blessed with the heavenly aromas from the co-op, sa building na to na uso ang ma'am. CR lang po, scam, kung saan dumidiretso ang students sa co-op para bumili ng kwek-kwek at lumpia. Did you know that Mafai 2 used to be green? It was commonly referred to as the pure gold building as its palette was very similar to that of pure golds. A relatively new addition to QCSHS is the iconic mushroom na di umanoy tinatawag ding giant kapute. This is the perfect place to chill and eat hot quick quick from the co-op while watching the tadpoles gradually evolve into frogs. By the way, all these trees that you see here were handmade by yours truly. That's awesome! Eljo! Ano nga ba ang alamat ng Alay Puti? Well, in fact, the building is in fact named the Kalalay Building, named after the Congressman Francisco Kalalay. The funny part is that the signage fell apart one day and it spelled Alay Puti. It was never fixed again and no one bothered to look at it anymore and it just stuck to students to call it the Alay Puti. Kaya pala. Fun fact! Fun fact! Did you know I has a secret river? Really? The river, frequently called Ilugsensha, often appears during heavy rainfall. Unfortunately, Peppa Pig is not the only one who likes to play on muddy puddles. La 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 la! Here is the building where grade 11 students study. The Mathai 1 building. Dapat dito ako mag na grade 11. However, given the current circumstances, our batch can only appreciate this building through this Minecraft build. Once a deserted plain, sometimes used as a parking space with occurring sandstorms during windy days, the field is now stored with lush green and tall diverse trees surrounding it. The field is perfect for after-school sports such as ultimate frisbee and football. And speaking of football, the annual inter-school and district meet is a much watch for all shenshans as the Kisai football team plays against Kiko, or Kisai's neighboring high school, San Francisco High School. Ha, uh, those were the days. I remember scoring here in this field for Kisai, and the sound of the Shenzhen community screaming and cheering as I scored, uh, as I scored. I miss the days of being team captain of KFC. KFC? Speaking of KFC, I'm getting hungry. 
Eljo, let's get some snacks. Let's go. Let me open the door for you. The co-op is the go-to place for the hungry students, whether it's break time, lunch time, or even class time. Oh, wink, wink, wink. wink. Indulge in the variety of foods ranging from fried chicken, lumpiang Shanghai, pork chop, and our very special beef stroganoff. And if you want dessert, you can buy ice cream sandwiches and cornetto to finish off your meal. The chemistry lab is not the only place where students can create bizarre and exotic concoctions. Here in Quezon City Science High School, Shenshens pride themselves of their prized gastronomic creation, the lumot, a mixture of red tea and iced tea. Not only does the cop keep their food, but it also provides several services. These include printers for printing worksheets and research papers, a computer room wherever you need to cram homework, and also a stall where you can buy Kisa uniforms and other garments. A spa, a place of culinary perfection and stress eating, Q-Balls is the place where you can grab your favorite snacks if you need to eat quickly. Small bites rather than big meals are your choice if you go here. They sell the best turon, palitao, shaved ice, and much, much more. What are these, Spike? These are shoes! Remember, you can't enter the Robo Lab without a shoe rag. Keep that in mind, freshies. Tara, let's tour the rest of the place. Did you know that the bars here were once blue stained glass? However, they were replaced as they were gradually shattered over time. I remember playing futsal and volleyball here and remembering how fast the game ended because the balls went missing. Oh, what happened to the balls? I don't know. I never saw them again. This is a nostalgic place for me because I spent two consecutive years here. Alam mo ba, Eljo, nasa building na ito na experience ko lahat ng possible na BMI from underweight to overweight to obese. But enough about SP, let's talk about Kisai's hidden gem, ang likod ng SP. No, 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 no! Teka, ano nga ba nasa likod ng SP? These are Kisai's makeshift laboratories and faculty rooms. The faculty rooms house Kisai's top caliber teachers, while the laboratories taught me the importance of both theory and practice. Theory is when you know everything, but nothing works. Practice is when everything works, but no one knows why. In Kisai's favorite laboratory, we integrate both theory and practice. Nothing works, and no one knows why. Here is the hall for all. And all for hall. Because this is the place for all your needs other than a classroom. We start off with the conference hall, where all of our major meetings as an either a batch or as a whole student body gather if there is an event. This is where seminars, masses, and other important events are held. This is where I used to serve as an altar server slash sacristan during the school's monthly mass. I also remember undeliberately falling asleep here kasi malamig naman talaga yung air ko nila. Another place where, no where shoes are on no-go. This is the place where students can hang out and chill and study at the same time. All in the glorious air-conditioned environment. Upcoming are the two biggest teacher departments. Rooms, the math department, and the English department. Here we have arguably the best teachers in the country. Besides their mathematical prowess and articulate teaching master, of the math department are among the most loving and caring teachers in the school. This department not only houses the most fashionable, but it is also the second home of one of Kisai's finest departments. The English department houses the eloquent and perspicacious teachers of Quezon City Science High School. There is also a restroom beside it. But unfortunately, I learned through experience that students were prohibited from using this. Luna. Go! Oh, I fell to the list. The ESP department, one of the most cramped departments, is located underneath the staircase to the library. Hold a prayer. Hmm. Each pixel was made by our builders. It took us three sleepless nights, but it was all worth it in the end. 
you are an SSG or CGL member, you will call this your third home. Meetings are always held here and where Dr. Mamdana holds her office. Ah, another air-conditioned gym. Here's the place to go if you have injured yourself during school hours. Sir Fernand will catch you up in no time and even allow you to rest in one of the most comfortable beds in the whole school. Here is the Filipino department. <laughs> okay. The registrar is located here, and if you are an incoming grade 12 student, place to go for your college entrance test requirements. Let's go. Scatter kayo para masaya. Here we, Here we have. have the latest addition to the school, which was completed during the pandemic. Supposedly, we were to use this for our physical education classes. The basketball team and the women's football team were also supposed to use this for their respective sports. It is Although, a very significant yeah, new addition to the campus. Although I doubt any of our viewers, including myself and Eljo, have seen the inside of this new location, the builders of our very own server ensure that we could avail ourselves of the auspicious experience by viewing this through Minecraft's cubic lenses. Out, everyone, 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 out, The Gubat Gazebo exemplifies our undying dedication to this build. Uh, I am sure that each painstakingly created tree would be conquered with that of the relocation. Throughout the map, we made sure to include every tiny detail that comprises Kisai's iconic nature. For instance, we did not forget 50th time capsule, along with the treasure cats that have been adding life to the screen favorite. Now, for the final part of our tour. Introducing the Rolls Royce of Minecraft builds, the prominent gem of NCR's Regional Science High School, and the fountain of truth and life itself, the Atom. The central area includes the giant mango tree whose every detail I have perfected, the island which houses a myriad of unforgettable memories, and finally, the Atom that has been Kisai's centerpiece. But that's not all. We have not only created a full-scale Minecraft replica of the school, complete with every tiny perceptible detail, we, the united and dedicated builders of the QCSHS build team, have one last gigantic surprise for everyone. Okay, LJ, come on, press.